So we now keep doing our substitution flashcard and the third one we learned okay is SM1. Okay. So for SM1, the one that we will use as example is our node 14. It clearly says flashcard number three. We will use this one as example. Um, at least one example, okay? At least the first example. Um, so just like our flashcard before, so I'll write number three here. Yeah, okay. And the name um, SN1. If you want to write S, uh, SN1 substitution, you can. Um, but I, I think SN1 is good enough. Everyone will know what you're talking about. So we just keep SN1 here. Um, this is nodes uh, 14 back page. Okay. All right. Reaction. Uh, B R C C H three three water Yeah, I'm catching cold, so my voice is not really good. All right, okay, mechanism. All right, we are going to rewrite this three methyl group in a better way, okay? I know I'm writing step one, step two, step three here, but when you are writing the whole mechanism as flashcard, um, I would recommend writing the this way, okay? So first you have your bromo. Um, that's just going to leave, okay? Your CH3, CH3, CH3. Uh, if you are going to just flip back to your textbook, more or less late, um, later, let's say go to your 118B, this is how you're going to. This is kind of like you keep seeing structure being drawn like this, okay? So keep in mind, keep in mind, SN1, okay? All of the SN1, it's reversible. It's um, it's just like a sum of, you don't have to show slow or fast uh, from my textbook. Um, I know it showed it on mine. So now what we have, okay. Is a carbo cation. And it's, uh, this carbo cation form, because your bromine, it's taking this bond away. So there's a formal, uh, negative. So your there are three other pair of long pair of your bromine. You don't have to show, but you have to show this blue one. Okay, I'm using different colors since it's flashcard. You might still use it someday in the future. All right, so we're good. Um, next step. Okay. My nuclear file in this case is water. It's going to attach to it. So I'll use uh, okay. Yeah, it's a little ugly. Uh better. Okay. Your water is gonna to attack at this um carbo cutout. Uh, please pay attention to this one, okay? This is already a tertiary carbo cation. It's already very stable, and there are no else, okay? We'll do another example later. Uh, that's if it's a secondary, well, you can form tertiary somewhere. You, you need to show that. But anyway, we'll do this one first. Yeah, okay. And uh, keep in mind, also keep in mind, um, your water can attack from both top or the bottom. All right, so we will have um, your water. Uh, 
O H Right now the third not sure if you can see this color though this orange and my paper is white uh it's is yellow okay there a third molecule ah that's might be too too light we'll change into green okay this green okay not sure if you can see this um i think it's better than yellow maybe not ah whatever Yay. All right, so in this case, we will have my pink, okay, O, H, O. I don't have that H. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, my long pair. We, we lost that hydrogen because we are now having a pair, of, okay? And we, what, what's, what's being fall off, okay? What's being fall off, okay? H, O, H. And it's grabbing this pink hydrogen. Form this positive, okay? All right, it's it's just some you don't you don't have to show you don't have to show this. Okay, this is byproduct. Okay, this one is byproduct. Okay, this one, okay, is also byproduct. Uh, we don't have stereochemistry because three of the bond is the same. It's not a chiral center, but we will try to show. Uh, another example on the back page, all right?